Hello friends and welcome to another video. In this week's episode of Cruise Cooking Challenge, we are making Carnival Cruise Lines Fruit Loop French Toast. The ultimate brunch breakfast. Oh my goodness, cereal on our French toast is the ultimate. I can't wait to make this one. Fun fact, I've actually never had it on a cruise. So I'm excited to make it at home first, and then my next Carnival Cruise, I'm gonna have to taste it as well. Let's get started with all of our ingredients. All right, it wouldn't be Fruit Loop French Toast without Fruit Loops. We're going to need three cups of Fruit Loops. And a really good ingredient to make French Toast is bread. So definitely a requirement. So brioche style bread is actually what is recommended uh, to use in here so this is just bread that is thicker about an inch thick or so but if you don't have any of this type of bread any will really do but this is better for it and for the french toast batter we will need six eggs we will need a cup of sugar a half a teaspoon of cinnamon four ounces of flour one fourth cup of milk for the batter, and then we have some garnishes. The recipe calls for a few mint leaves to make it pretty once we're all done, and then there's a side of a fruit cup, and it calls for some cantaloupe, honeydew, watermelon, strawberries, and pears. But we're gonna make ours a little different with just strawberries and some bananas once we're done to garnish all of this together. So let's get started making the batter. All right, let's crack these bad boys, six eggs in here. All right, let's make this batter here. So we're gonna add a cup of sugar, this is a half. That is a lot of sugar. We're gonna go ahead and add a half of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Next, we're gonna add in the flour. So it doesn't want us to put in all the flour at once. So we're gonna go ahead and put in one fourth cup of flour into our batter here. So we are gonna whisk together the eggs, sugar, and flour and the milk and the cinnamon until it is nice and smooth. Now it's time to dip the bread. So we wanna dip the bread here into the batter and let it soak for about five to 10 seconds. And we'll flip it to the other side as well. All right, so we're gonna take out our bread here, pop it into our pan, and we're getting ready to fry that bad boy. Since our pan has room for another one, we'll dip another one, and we'll fry two at a time here. Go ahead and drip off that extra batter. And we're ready to fry these bad boys. All right, so we will cook these for about three minutes until they get about brown. All right, so now we're gonna place these on our lined baking sheet here. And it looks like I had it a little too high here. So it's still okay though. But for the next two, since this makes four servings, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Now we'll place our other two pieces of toast here and I've turned it down a little so we'll see how that does so it's been about a minute and a half we'll go ahead and flip it over 
Oh yeah, that looks a little better there. Alrighty, now we're ready to use the rest of our flour here. Put this into the remaining amount of the batter. We're gonna whisk it up and get it thicker again here. All right, that looks pretty good. Nice and thick here. And we're gonna pour this over our French toast that we just cooked. But first, I'm going to add some Fruit Loops to a shallow dish here. So, all right, so we want to crush some of this cereal. So, I'm just going to use the measuring cup and smush it up. All right, so now we have a little assembly line with our French toast, our batter, and our Fruit Loops. So we're going to re-batter these bad boys up here a little bit generously with our batter. And we are going to toss them in our Fruit Loops. You can see how this takes a lot of Fruit Loops. All right, so let's do this again here for all four pieces. So now that we have the four pieces covered, we do have a little bit of extra batter and extra Fruit Loops. So the recipe recommends if you like, you can cover up some of the sides here with extra pieces, drizzle a little bit more and place some of your extra batter and Fruit Loops on it. So we'll go ahead and do that. Try using my hands to see if this sticks a little bit into these smaller pieces here. This is a fun activity that you can try with your kiddos on the weekend. Nice brunch activity as I'm sure they will probably like getting their hands in here and crushing the cereal and topping up all the French toast. So now that it's all ready here, we're gonna be putting it into the oven and baking this now for five to seven minutes at 350. All right, now we're ready to place these in. All right, Mr. Chef is gonna help us here. Five to seven minutes. While you're waiting for your French toast to cook, I went ahead and put together our little garnish so we have our strawberries and bananas and the mint and oh my, the mint smells delicious. So our plate is ready for our French toast. Alrighty, let's take a look here. Oh my. Uh, so looks like we've really toasted the French toast here with the Fruit Loops. Uh, just a little bit too long here. A couple pieces are just a smidge overcooked could have taken it out just a little bit early but it looks good we can just top off uh some of the extra toasted pieces here wow ta-da there is our beautiful masterpiece what a petite let's dig in and see how it tastes all right let's dig into this so we have 
Art French toast. I'm singing because I'm excited to try this. <laughs> I think it's gonna be really sweet. Oh, it's delicious. Very good. So the bread is um, really sweet. It's not like soggy or anything. And the Fruit Loops have a nice toasted flavor. So that is delicious. With our side of mint and uh, strawberries and bananas, this is a nice breakfast. Bon appetit. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed seeing how they make this delicious Fruit Loops French toast. What an awesome treat for a brunch or breakfast at home. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you've had this on your cruise or if you plan to make it at home. I'd love to see your pictures as well. If you make any of the recipes that I share from the cruise cooking challenge, be sure to share the photos with me. I wanna see what you're making at home as well with the cruise food. Share, it, share them in my Facebook group, Travel the World from A to Z. All right, friends, that'll do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. And if you want to see more cooking videos, check out these two videos right here. Until next time, ciao for now.